Buying real estate properties has become one of the ways to not only diversify your investment portfolio, but also one of the investment options that gives you and guarantees you return on your investment. Now, one of the many ways to use your real estate property is for rental income. And rental income has different angles through long-term rental, short-term rental, student housing, amongst the others. Now, when it comes to short-term rental, and in particular, short let apartments, it has gained a lot of popularity since the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced a lot of establishments to close for a long period of time, including hotels. The low cost of short let apartments, the fear of crowds at hotels, which could cause a higher risk of contacting the virus, and just the ability to be able to choose your kind of taste in apartments, give short lets an edge over hotels. Now, Airbnb, in fact, in 2019, ranked Nigeria as one of the fastest growing markets for Airbnbs and short lets globally. And a research done by Business Day about short let occupancy shows that there's been an increase from 54.6% three years ago to now 76.3% in 2021, and the market is still growing massively. So the sweet spot for short lets is that you get a furnished apartment that also feels homely at a lesser cost than that of a hotel. But in recent times, the prices of short has gone up, now almost the same price as that of hotels. And it begs the question, why exactly should I pick a short let over a hotel? Because I might as well just book a hotel for a night and pay the exact same fee. So we would love to hear from you. Would you rather do short let or hotel? And what would be your reason for picking one over the other?